Dozens of candidates are on the ballot to replace Governor Gavin Newsom if he is recalled during next month's election. Now, one of them is former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner. News 8 political reporter Morgan Reiner spent time with Faulkner on his bus tour across the state. She joins us live from Sacramento. Morgan, what did you learn about uh, former Mayor Kevin Faulkner's campaign? Hi, Carlo. Hi, Marcella. Happy Friday. Kevin Faulkner is screaming moderate, asking all the Democrats and independents to vote for him, highlighting how he worked with a Democratic city council during his time as mayor. He uses the phrase, I have common sense whenever given the opportunity. Not just, he says, to show the stark difference between him and Governor Gavin Newsom, but between him and conservative talk show host Larry Elder. When the cameras aren't rolling. How's everybody doing? But the wheels of this big boy are. Former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner has maybe one minute to relax. Is it stressful? There's not a lot of family left right now. Before he hits this phone book. Thanks for all of your help and support. In a lengthy conversation, Faulkner told me he's confident about September 14th. Are you a man of polls? Do you believe in polls? And is it concerning that right now you are not number one in the polls? I think what we're seeing is the vast majority of Californians are still undecided who they want to vote for. That's what this bus tour is all about. Kevin Faulkner has been one of the biggest critics of conservative talk show host Larry Elder. And one of the big themes today on this leg of the bus tour is calling him out on his past comments on women. We cannot replace one dysfunctional governor with another. Larry Elder's ex fiance Alexandra Daytig told Politico he brandished a gun at her while high on marijuana which Elder denied. Do you think he is hurting recall chances overall? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's made it a circus. Faulkner told me he'll be a champion for working women, but what plans does he actually have to make the workforce equal? I'm gonna lower our tax burden so working women and families can actually keep more of their dollars. That bus tour is not cheap. They're still working out the final cost of it at the end of the 10 days. But I did check his campaign finances this morning, and as of right now, he's raised $1.4 million for the recall. But there is a second account, a second committee that's raised about $2.2 million, and it's called Kevin Faulkner for Governor 2022. All right, yeah, so I was going to say, Morgan, we've got the recall election next month, but regardless of what happens, there's the gubernatorial election, which is in November 2022, so just about a year to go. I'm assuming that he has this website. He's planning to run for governor in 2022. Did he confirm that with you today? I asked that exact question not once but twice and all he will say right now is that he is focused on the recall. Now during our lengthy conversation we covered many other topics including how he solved the homeless problem in San Diego as he claims. Of course I could take up an entire newscast running through all of that with you but for right now I'll have it all up shortly on CBS8.com. Yeah win or lose there's another election a year away and we know they got to feed the beast. Morgan Weiner. Our political field anchor, thank you for that report.